So everybody wants to know, where would you see gains in your portfolio, even if a rally fizzles out? Joining us now with some ideas, Ed Batowski. He's managing partner at Chapwood Investments, along with Troy Booter, founder and president of Tri-Pillar Investments. Ed, uh, so many cross-currents going on with the markets today. One minute oil's up, then it's down. How do you take, uh, what perspective do you take when it comes to investing for your clients? Well, there, there's only one perspective, and that is the long-term perspective. I mean, we, we're sitting here under number numbness. We're watching every minute, every report that comes out, and the genius of investing is recognizing the direction of trends. Mm -hmm. And the trend is and has been there for quite some time, with the exception of the liquidity crisis, that we're seeing worldwide expansion, we're seeing markets open up to companies that are here in the United States, and we're going to see a very long, sustained bull market. However, in the meanwhile, we're going to go through some periods like this. And Troy, it's a double-edged sword, that, uh, that sort of world economic situ financial situation we're in right now. It's good for us in terms of trade. It's bad for us when a contagion like what happened in Greece, for example, hits us. Now, it hits us because people say, well, we don't buy many stuff, much stuff from Greece, but every time you buy a bank, you're buying some of their Greek debt. Yeah, that's absolutely correct. And, and, you know, the grease part of it is a really, really small portion, but what it actually holds in the contagion is kind of a little bit uh, trepidatious when you start bringing in the other countries of the not-so-affectionate term, the pigs, with, with Portugal and, and Ireland and Italy and uh, Greece and Spain. It, it actually kind of adds up to represent quite a bit of uh, gross domestic product. So it certainly does have its influence, if not financially, at least psychologically. Troy uh, and Ed, as I look what's happening with the Dow, we look to like we're coming back to the flat line and possibly see a gain here now. So it's very hard, Ed, when you talk about looking at every piece of data to then get that view from 30,000 feet. But that said, you're doing the homework and have done it. You have some picks here, including an oil services name like Baker Hughes, where you've got to believe that at some point commodities, what, would go up? Well, I, I believe commodity prices are going to go up. I believe that oil prices are going to go up a lot higher than they are right now. I think Baker Hughes is a double from here over the next 12 months. Mm -hmm. I think in, it might not be 12 months, it might be 18 months, but this will probably be one of the rare times you can buy this stock as cheap as it is because oil prices are going to go higher from here. Troy, let's talk about both the foreign and the domestic market. You've got one of each here, Baidu, which of course is the Chinese version of Google, uh, which after Google pulling out looks pretty good, and McDonald's, which is an all-American company. Why do you like both of them? <laughs> Well, I think they're both play on multinationals. I really, really like McDonald's. They're so consistent in their dividend payout over the last 30 plus years. They lead the market in every country that they're in. So they're both a, a good uh, home run for here in the United States, but also a great multinational play. Baidu, you, you uh, hit the, the nail on the head when you said the key factor with Google moving out has given Baidu a great opportunity to really secure and almost monopolize their market. Many have predicted by the year 2011, they will hold in excess of 70% of the market share in China, its current market share. But then you look at all the millions and millions of people that are coming online in China, there is nothing but upside potential with Baidu and in a tremendously strong balance sheet, almost a billion dollars in cash and zero debt. So doesn't, we like Baidu. It doesn't hurt when the Chinese government kicks out the biggest competitor, though. Of That's Google. right. So That's you're, right. you're right on the money there. Either way, you, make, you find those silver linings. Gentlemen, great to have you. Ed, Troy, we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot. Thank well, you. Well,